YouTube shorts for men. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going back to the scary place. The spooky scary place with all sorts of bad stuff on it. It's YouTube shorts. This is Ooh. the future we're looking at. The future. Oh yeah, right-wing radicalization pipeline is alive and well, folks, on YouTube. That's right. It's YouTube shorts. YouTube, in an effort to, you know, make sure that like a certain a certain, uh, you know, new product that they reveal on Roll gets a lot of hype and gets a lot of people excited, will do this crazy thing and basically offer it zero fucking guidance, okay? They will offer it zero regulation. And, and that is precisely what the fuck is going on. What is this on Mario Batali, J.K. Rowling, and cancel culture? Adam Ragusa? Why are you sending me this? Went mullet mode. Is this allowed? Wait, Noah, Noah got a mullet? Okay, bro. I mean, come on now. Okay, bro. Fucking chill, okay? And his mullet's better than mine. That's fucked up. That's actually fucked up. All right, let's... Let's watch there this. Is watch this piece of shit, okay? I got to pee. I'll be short back. Short-form bite-sized content. Like TikTok and Instagram Reels, short-form content is where the human psyche naturally wants to go. And that means tech companies are going to keep bringing you there, whether you like it or not. I found all the videos we're looking at today in basically one scroll through the shorts. It took like an hour, maybe two hours. Collectively, they have millions of likes and hundreds of millions of views. And yeah, so just keep that in mind as we watch. Just imagine 10 Super Bowl stadiums full of people watching this content and clapping like seals. Here we go, let's go. You haven't had that feeling of like, like that drug, under drug feeling, the, you, the serotonin coming through your brain, like all logic goes out the window. Have you had that where you just absolutely want this person every day, all day? The reality is love between men and women is not the same at all. You know, men, men love idealistically, women love opportunistically. I oh, hey man. Why can't you answer the question? <laughs> Why can't you just answer the nice lady's question? She's asking a very simple question. Have you ever been in love, guy? You ever fallen head over heels, guy? Immediately. You see the reality of the dating market. This is just the way, it's just the way the world is. Yeah, don't get mad at me. I didn't create the game. Don't hate the player, I hate the game. The dating market does not allow, it doesn't just, men and women are why Be a normal for once. Answer the question, just answer. Sort of defaulting to your fucking talking points, man. God, it's the worst. I understand the fact that as a man, a woman loves you for what you bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Your money, your income, your income, your status, your confidence, your ambition, your cleverness. There's a whole bunch of different things that women look for in a man before they can actually love and submit and want to be with him. Real quick, love and submit being sort of synonyms there. Ooh, self-report. Ooh, a little weird. I mean, you guys, you all know the Fresh and Fit guys by now, so it's no surprise. But love... You know, real love, submission isn't a part of it because submission relies on a, a power imbalance, you know? And that's not love. All about love, bell hooks, go away, go check it out. But for men, it's like, you know, we, we love women for real because we don't have as many requirements of You them love women they, for real, that's what you said? Yeah, men men love women idealistically. This yeah. is why breakups hurt men way more. This is why men commit suicide way more. I, like, when a man loves a woman, you love her there's far an harder yeah. than she loves him back. Whoa, okay, hold on. Throwing a lot of just st statistics and numbers out there randomly uh, sounds good, but... Let's take a closer look. Oh, I see. Okay. He was citing this study from Pew Research. That's it's, it's the <laughs> study of breakups and who hurts more from them. Clear. That's so weird. That is like. That's such a weird fucking take. Like he just every dude, dude, dude. You know how we talk about like conservatives every time they fucking say something is just a self report. It's the same shit with these conservative fucking PUA guys, right? Every take is just a self-report. I don't understand why this shit bangs. It's literally just like, I'm a pathetic loser and I fucking hate women. And then people go, yes, King, everyone else is gay for not liking you. And it blows my fucking mind. It's like the same shit that we were just talking about. It's vice signaling. You know what I mean? It makes no fucking sense to me at all, bro. It makes no sense. It's like, anyone else says that, you're like, the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like, maybe just, I don't know, reconsider. Maybe reconsider your relationship with women and how you think and, and speak about women. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I mean, we saw the greatest example of this, right? And this is perfect because uh, this was popping off on Reddit. 
It was popping off on Twitter. Uh, I saw it too. It was like some fucking girl at a party. It's like clearly like a bang ad. You know what I mean? It was. It's like a. It's like a fucking product placement for for bang. Here you go. It's a publicly asking for male validation daughter or thinks he needs to humble and insult every confident women uh, son. Okay. And dude, it's fake as fuck. It's so fake. But you know what's not fake? All the fucking people in the goddamn responses, dude. She sucks. She's annoying. She's playing into the fucking... She's leaning into the bimbo uh, uh, archetype. He is literally the also just playing into just like this aggressive fucking school shooter shit. I hate both of them. Okay? It's staged. It's fake. But the feelings... The feelings that people have from watching this and the responses... Wait, what important story for you? Hunter Biden smoking crack at Mardi Gras 2023? Oh, that's so sick. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Wait, seeking derangements last edited? Uh, Twitter blue user fucking owned, dude. Okay, anyway, we'll we'll look at that in a second. Uh, I, I want to get to this. I want to talk about this. So... It's just the worst video of all time. I'm going to try not to you have a girlfriend. I don't. Do you think I'm hot? Mm -hmm. Eh, not really. Oh, why? Way many more people attractive here than you. What's not hot about me? Your personality and your voice. My voice? You're a little too small. You can maybe like eat a burger, not be anorexic. Yeah, um, that's aggressive. I don't know who you're trying to impress. No one's going to simp over you. Do you have a girlfriend? I it's like, it's so fucking staged. And it still made me fucking cringe, okay? I saw this video, and immediately I thought to myself, wow, two people playing the worst roles in society, okay? I mean, he's right about the voice part. I know, I know, chatters, you're not making a unique observation. She's literally purposely being annoying, okay? It's like, I get it. You shouldn't fucking watch this and literally go, Oh, he owned her. Just like, this is exactly what I want to say to every hot girl who would probably reject me. I would assume that they're bimbos. Like, she's like desperately, she's playing the role of a bimbo who's desperately seeking validation. And he's playing the role of a fucking psychotic incel who's like owning her, okay? He's like owning her by being like, you're ugly and nobody likes you and your voice sucks. And I hate it because... The psychotic incels didn't look at this and go, oh, he's playing the role of a typical Reddit mod. How cringe. And went, he's just like me for real. What a fucking king. What a god. What a goat. And I hate it so much. Okay? I hate it so much. It's like, this is... It's just so perverse. It's so weird. It's, uh, it's, it's like getting all of these, like, all of these sad men. Okay? who, instead of fixing themselves, behave, like, feel more confident behaving this way. And it's so fucked up. And it's so annoying, dude. Obviously, this is, like, the only space where it's going to be... If a fat woman says she didn't find a man attractive, people will be bashing her in the comments. Uh, it's almost like when you put a camera in someone's face and purposely agitate them for online content, they will sometimes be mean to you. This is not real. Like, this is not a real thing. Even this, even this video here, like, even the Twitter users are, uh, like, still fucking siding with the fucking weirdo. Even though the weirdo is most likely faking it, too. Are you sure it's not real? Dude, it fucking, it was all over Reddit. It had 120 elbows. You want to fucking see? You want to see some of the Reddit comments? It's jerking off the fantasy of men who would, one, burn in natural sunlight, and two, become a puddle of sweat and anxiety should a woman approach. Like, this is the daydream candy for society's worst people. Yes. All of these are, everyone that watches this video and likes it literally is like, 
a, a school shooter that is luckily too cowardly to fucking do it. You know what I mean? Thank God. Seriously. And if you are the type of person who fucking sees this, lean out, okay? Lean away from the attitude that you have, okay? Work on yourself. You are, this is the perfect, this is the perfect, I mean, perfect video to just find someone. Your fat phobia is showing. I'm going to show my cock to you after I fuck your mom tonight, okay? My fat phobia. I said nothing about him being fat, you fucking idiot. If you look at this video and immediately side with the dude and fantasize about how you would say the same thing to her, okay, I'm telling you right now, no matter how fucking annoying she is, and she is fucking annoying, okay, if you go, oh, man, I wish I could say that to her, I'm telling you, you're fantasizing about an insane thing, okay? You're a bad person. You're a piece of shit. Also, she doesn't even body shame him. He body shames her. He says, you're anorexic. You should eat a burger. But again, it's fucking fake. That's the worst part about it is that it's not even a real interaction. It's a TikTok. Of course it's fucking fake. How do you know it's fake? What do you mean? How do I know it's fake? It's at like some fucking dumbass bang event probably. You kidding me? She's holding a bang and like literally trying to show it in every frame. And also they're awful at acting. Oh. You know, she was mocking him and defended himself even though he's an idiot. No, he didn't. No, he didn't live hot streaming action. He didn't. That's not how you defend yourself. You know how he could have come across awesome in this? Do you think I'm hot? Be like, yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. It's not for me, okay? You could be like, I don't know. It's not, I'm not attracted to you. You could even say something along the lines of like, you're a fucking, you're a, a, a random TikToker. I'm not interested, okay? I'm not interested. You can even say something about her voice. It is fucking annoying. But the moment that he's like, uh, there's many more women here more attractive than you, you're like, that's not, you're literally just trying. You're, you're trying desperately to find anything. And it's like very fucking annoying. Bang's whole marketing gimmick a couple years ago was this exact type of content. Having a can of Bang anywhere in a video was their method of advertising. Yeah. Anyway, this is a script anyway, so it's not real. It, like, even if we were to act like it was a fucking real, though, he's an idiot. Yes. There are way many more people more attractive than you is like such a fucking idiotic take. Stop taking it seriously. I feel bad for him. There's no way he's ever going to better himself, but she's just taking advantage of this. This is not real. Stop thinking that this is a real interaction. Please, you are reporting on yourself. Okay? Skip a six-minute video about a real problem and complain about a TikTok for six minutes shaking my damn head. Shut the fuck up. Take a day off. You want me to watch a fucking video of, of, of Charlie talking about a, a streamer driving over a fucking dog? That's the important video? Anyway. It's literally a, yeah, it's an incel Darmon video, okay? 
It's the same concept as a fucking Darman video, but like to agitate incels into fantasizing about how they would behave in this circumstance. But of course, you know, we're back at it. Uh, part of it is these YouTube shorts. Clearly. Part of it is patriarchy and how deeply embedded it is. By the numbers we have, it's boy, it's boys rule, girls drool, is what this graph says. I love quantifiable assertions. They're my favorite. Also, what about that statistic about men being uh, more likely to leave their partner when they get cancer? Women are six times more likely to end up separated or divorced if they are diagnosed with cancer or multiple sclerosis than if their male partners were facing the same illness, according to a US study. The study confirmed earlier research of a divorce or separation rate among cancer patients of 11.6%, similar to the general population, but found the rate yeah, jumped crazy. to 20.8% when the woman was sick versus 2.9% when the man was ill. Hey, what the fuck is going on there? That's weird. Seems a bit opportunistic of, of these guys to sort of not stick with the person and stick it out just because their person is sick. When a man loves a woman, he loves her far harder yeah. than, than she loves him back. And so to speak, that's why <laughs> no shoot. Uh, you know, initiate divorce and breakups, etc. And why guys have such a time, tough time getting over it. Because when a man loves a woman, he loves her for real. Very odd assertion that men don't also have preferences when dating and looking for people. Because he lists off all these things that women supposedly want from men before they can submit and fall in love. And sure, for a lot of people, these are factors that come into play into deciding whether or not you actually want to see someone. But dudes have them too. And that's okay. It's the point. You're supposed to be able to, you know, be okay with uh, who you're seeing and like them for various reasons. Also, grouping in uh, male suicide statistics whenever it's convenient is totally cool. Cool to do. Yeah. This is why breakups hurt men way more. This is why men commit suicide way more. Male suicide is actually because they get broken up with and get sad, and that's the big. That's the main factor. There's no. There's really not a lot of other factors. Let's say your boyfriend was going to the strip club two times a week. Would you have an issue with that? Yeah, because that I feel like that's already an unspoken rule in a relationship. You don't oh. go into the strip club. Well, you shouldn't go to bars and clubs when you're in a relationship. Is that an unspoken rule? I mean, I, yeah, it, it, is. it is. It kind it's of. Like Dude, my my favorite type of content is having like I'm sorry to say these ladies, but like some ladies are dumb. Okay, just like a lot of men are dumb. There's a lot of dumb ladies out there. Okay, and my favorite type of incel content is just like finding the most sele self-selecting group of individuals that just like want to do it for like a little bit of fucking Instagram clout and just having them on your podcast to just be like, look how dumb these ladies are. You know what I mean? This is exactly how all bitches are. Am I right, guys? <laughs> like, it's like, bro, 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 bro. What the fuck? What is happening here? Why is it always like, why is it always like desperate, a desperate attempt to like monolithize every fucking woman on the planet? Okay. It's always funny too, because like, you know, the, the podcast hosting men are dumb as fuck too. It's so stupid. Imagine espousing that you're, imagine, imagine espousing that you only view bars as a way to cruise Lamau. It's like, I don't agree with her as far as like, you can't go to the strip club if you're in a relationship. And I don't agree with him when he's like, oh, well, what about going to bars then? Fucking got him. Okay. Ultimately, relationships, and I can't believe I'm saying this, and obviously this is not going to be fucking, uh, I don't know, the, the piffy TikTok adjacent idiotic snappy quote, but like relationships are about mutual respect and setting boundaries. Okay. If your partner is uncomfortable with something, you communicate with them. That's how this fucking works. Because you are a human, they are a human. You're both. You both have some level of autonomy, and you want to cohabitate in the same space. You want to build each other up, like your friends. Okay, because your partner is also your best friend. Okay, your partner is someone you go to for advice. And if you don't think women are like you know, just as human as men are, you fundamentally break that, okay? You can't, you can never respect someone who you don't see as like a full human being. It's so stupid. That's why so many of these motherfuckers are just like fucking sexless turbo virgin losers who just fester in their own anger all goddamn day. Like it common, is kind of like, common sense. you shouldn't really be like 
partying with your single female friends. Unspoken rules, uh, pretty dumb. Sounds pretty dumb to me. If you are in a relationship and there's a boundary you wanna set up, you speak it, you know? You just say it, hey, this thing you do, GAY! <laughs> Lol, fucking talk about setting up boundaries before a relationship, what are you? into smoking penises dude soy which by the way of course gay people no relationships famously devoid of relationships gay you know it, it kind of makes me uncomfortable talking to a woman dude what the fuck ha <laughs> ha <laughs> i'd perish into a fucking cloud of dust if i were to do that dude i fucking oh never dude only talk to my boys is that what do you think about that that's how you solve this sort of unspoken rule problem that appears to be going on here but also the comparison between you know an actual strip club and a bar it feels like a self-report to me the insecurity here is just that you know you go out with your single friends they all say go cheat on your boyfriend with that guy and then you go cheat and that's how that's how things work which is you know it's weird it's just weird <laughs> it's weird because if you're dating someone you don't trust them enough to go outside without sucking and fucking a bunch of <laughs> doing a bunch of crazy wacky stuff that you're not comfortable with then why are you why are you dating them you know if you want a dog which you can you know keep on a leash at home get a dog and do that partying with your single female friends or single friends for that matter if you're in a relationship what is the positive well, you guys ROI are older maybe listen. that's what oh my god gordon gecko over here dude fucking what is the positive roi on this Dude, look at this guy. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. We got to take the internet away from everybody. And I say this as a fucking Twitch streamer. Like I'm willing to not have the internet if these motherfuckers are also going to stop. You know what I mean? Just the fattest 90s power tie you've ever seen. Okay. Sitting there like, uh -huh, I, uh, I like to view everything from market conditions Um, you know, uh, what's the ROI? The fuck is an ROI or return on investment? Okay. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Learn your fucking Sigma grind set terminology. What you think in your own dating life? Did this guy really just say ROI? Did he use that term? I mean, he looks like he would. He's got like a sort of Wolf of Wall Street situation going on. These are so uncomfortable. That just everyone in the room is so... Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe that's what Voice trembling with rage, trying to interrupt and... Uh. <laughs> We're young. That's not how it works for She's us. She's 20 and she agrees with us. She's okay. younger than you. Oh. Fucking own. She's younger than you, which means she has more value, dog. As you know, I like my pussy young. You know what I'm saying? That's what Andrew Tate said. Woo! Let's go, gang shit. Oh, that's right, dude. Okay. So then your entire argument just went down the trash. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He literally said there's a person here. There's a person here that is in disagreement with you, so I win. Oh my God. Ah, oh, I watched some clips of this. How, was, how this worked was they kept making up successively more specific scenarios until the girls got completely cornered and break their argument. I don't even know what this is. I kind of want to watch the whole thing, but you just got, <laughs> speaking of getting one guide, how about one girl, okay? Fellas, this one is for you. Everybody's always one guying me. I decided I'm going to one girl you back, okay? Woo, sheesh. Smoking on that fucking big doink, like I'm an like I'm out in Amish. Okay, holy fuck! My anecdotal evidence cancels your anecdotal evidence. Therefore, I win. I am very smart. Also, like interpersonal relationships between men and women are complicated, and like it's not like there are fucking studies for this. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, there are, but it's stupid. You just you just got to go off of uh, vibes sometimes. But most importantly, because of the gray area that you're constantly traversing within interpersonal relationships between men and women in a romantic circumstance, especially communication is key for that reason. Okay. That's why you got to talk. Of course, before you get to that point, you literally should do everything in your fucking power to see your partner as a human being. Okay. That's big one. 
it's really, really fucking, it's really big. I, I can't stress that enough. Come oh, on, guys. <laughs> Why does this exist? Why does this have 78,000 likes? Uh, yeah, well, you, she's, uh, you're a poopy head, <laughs> stinky poopy head. Which logical fallacy is that? Someone type it in the comments. I, it's been too long since I watched a debate, Lord. If you don't want to be in a relationship and you just want to party, that's fine for you if that's your choice that you want to make. Okay, wait, that last assertion there. If you don't want to be in a relationship and you want to party, that's fine. Why are those mutually exclusive? Why is partying and being in a relationship mutually exclusive. It hinges the ability to obtain a relationship on the necessary decision to give up partying. No more partying, you stay inside. Very weird, very insecure, uh, weird stuff. People can have preferences, but you know, what? It's also, again, very narcissistic because like you're, you're basically turning your own personal perspective on the matter into a universal rule. And that's what a lot of these fucking fresh and fat guys do. You know what I mean? Like, they just run around being like, I'm personally broken by women. I, I just, I hate it. Uh, I don't like it. And you shouldn't either. It's like, it's just so fucking stupid. It's like, that's a you thing, dog. It's like whenever motherfuckers are like, dude, I watch porn. And then before I, before I knew it, I was just fucking jerking off like 20 times a day. 20? That's a lot, bro. That's a you thing. You should stop jerking off for sure. You know what I mean? That's a skill issue, brother. Like, honestly. I mean, straight up. That, like, I, I, I feel like it's always just a bunch of dudes just complaining about, like, hyper-specific problems that they have. But, of course, because there are enough fucking weirdos out there, they, like, get away with it to an audience of other weirdos that are like, I'm just as big as a loser as you, dog. I love that shit. What point do those preferences restrict the ability for someone to make their own decisions and you know live live a life? I don't know. Seems weird. So you are a virgin. Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. Prepare for some riveting journalism here. I love that, dude. That's like that's extremely my shit. I love that. It's like <laughs> you're a virgin, huh? Go ahead, tell me. Uh, what's up? What's your pussy like? What's uh, does that them are them thangs thanging? Like what's happening? Give me a, give me an ex explainer on uh, your body parts, please. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Everyone wants to know. Do it on TikTok. It's weird. It's a weird thing to say to another human being. Yes, I am. Do you plan to be like forever virgin? Until I'm married. Question is a preferred size. For what? For being not a virgin. One to two inches. <laughs> No, okay. I was like, there's no way. You know what? We're going to skip this one. Uh, it's just, I can't. I can't watch it all the way. I'm not going to. I refuse to. Damn, so like, you're sad. You ever think about it? You want to fuck? Should we, like, fuck? Um, <laughs> putting the cringe on hold for a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video. video. And it's unfair. And continuation of another video from those guys. Racist girl calls him white boy part one. Let's yes! Watch. Would you date a police officer? No the pigs because the um institution they support is inherently racist and profiles uh black and brown americans especially throws them into jail which is a continuation of the slave trade essentially people are working in prisons for less than minimum wage making pennies and dimes and it's unfair and that's what you contribute to if you're a cop Boy! god damn she fucking whew, sheesh okay she ate is that that's what they say right she ate left no crumbs okay that's fire now one thing i know from my own personal experience of consuming a lot of this content so that you don't have to usually when someone is spitting bars and is not playing the role of like the bimbo is like ah oh, no i want a guy i want to stay at home and cook and uh, uh like if the girl is not doing that and instead just like doing this instead like the guys get very angry okay they get very angry fresh and fit is notorious for this they always fucking have like you know they always have the same type of girls but then sometimes like in the bimbo pile there's like one girl who's like you know spitting and and immediately they they fucking go crazy okay they go bananas mode. They're like, don't speak back to me. You fucking whore. Like they go fucking insane. They're like, this is my show. You can't do this on my show. That's what I hear. Every time they go like, oh, I'll fucking kill you. Like get the fuck out of here. Right. Instead of when they're, when they're trying to like present a macho, get the fuck out of my, 
uh, you know, streaming room or whatever type attitude. What I hear is, oh, you can't, you can't make me look bad. You can't make me look bad on my own. That's what I hear. And that's what you should hear as well. That's basically what they're doing. Bars. B -b 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 Bars. What are we on Instagram watching vertical videos? Because that is so real of her to oh, say. God. Hit on all oh, the points God. there. I No notes. My question to you is, I, I disagree with you on... Yeah, I bet you do, what? white boy. That's a bit racist. <laughs> oh my God, no, you're one of those. <laughs> oh no, racist, racism, racism. That's a bit racist. The girl. Again. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's a bit racist. Get side to side, like, whoa, oh no, this is crazy. I'm also half white, so like, how can I be racist against you? You don't think you can be racist towards someone who's white? No, I don't, because you've never experienced racism in history. White people haven't experienced racism. One of the ex Bro, come on. You're an adult, dog. You're literally an adult. And this girl is just fucking taking you to school right now. First of all, again, a thing that frustrates me about this counter from this guy is that there are a lot of people... <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? White people have a fucking PhD in racism. We were the ones doing it. <laughs> that would be a very funny thing to say. <laughs> if he turned around and was like, no, no, no. We actually know racism a bit too well, as a matter of fact. Uh, but um, the issue with this, okay, and it, it, it harkens back to the C word narrative, the, the discourse, you know, cracker, is that there, as long as there are enough fucking dumbasses out there who are on your side, like you can find a hug box that will never challenge you, right? Uh, yes, I said the word cracker, okay? Because guess what? I have the fucking pass. Suck my dick, okay? Suck my white ass dick, okay? Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, no one ever checks you. People just like go, dude, you're right. You're right, bro. You fucking own that racist. What's your definition of racism? Notice how he just keeps asking questions. He's not responding to what she's saying. He's just asking and asking because he can't. He's just, he's just white knuckling through it too. You can tell it's fucking. It'd be so funny if they defended you, if you did get banned again. Respond to what she's saying because she's right. I'd say basically like the persecution in any type of way that leads to the downfall of just like someone's life. Like it's always going to affect my life. I can't take off my skin color. As a black woman, like prejudices that exist against me don't exist against you, Brian. She said Brian. <laughs> he was already getting destroyed in this debate, but then she called him Brian. No offense to any Brians out there. It's just you, you can't really win. An Sometimes if you're falling into insult ideas, because I'm in their exact demographic and of course have struggles with relationships like everyone else. Do you have any advice from like me? Yes. Focus on yourself, King. Okay. Focus on yourself. You currently do not have confidence. Why do I know that? Because you're in a fucking Twitch chat talking about how you don't have confidence and you're in that exact demographic. In order to build confidence within yourself, you have to believe in yourself. How do you start building and believing in yourself? By making short-term goals that correspond to midterm goals that correspond to long-term goals. Write it out for yourself and achieve slowly but surely. Start building better habits for yourself. Go to the fucking gym. Figure out what works on the top of your head and what works on your face. Okay? It takes a while, but you can get there. Do you understand? And through that process, you will start building confidence like a muscle. Hopefully, you will also be building muscles because you're going to the gym now, okay? Not like a crazy idea. It's pretty basic, but it fucking works. And I'm not just saying this with survivor's bias, even though I do have it personally, okay? You know, basic hygiene will go a long motherfucking way. A little lore on this guy he used to be a prank YouTuber that fell off and started his comeback by conversing with people, but the incel manosphere stuff worked better, so we just pushed into that. Of course, these people are always guided by one fucking thing, okay? That's why they always self-report, dude. That's why all of those motherfuckers that I criticize regularly will turn around and be like, you're doing lefty shit because it fucking works. No, motherfucker. If it works... If I'm doing something specifically for cloud and because it works, I'd be doing the shit you're doing because even dumb, annoying, unfunny, and untalented motherfuckers can gain prominence
by simply just being a little misogynistic and owning women on the internet. And God for, I mean, holy shit, I could do that so well. Oh yeah. I've been going through my old photos around grandma's house and I have a message to all of you who think they're fat or ugly right now. Shit will change. You'll learn how to manage your food workouts and learn what kind of haircut works with your head. Things will get better. I promise. There you go. It was 2017. I wasn't even streaming on Twitch at that point. No, this I didn't look like that in 2017. I'm saying I posted that in 2017. Here, I'm going to retweet this again. I love when I said I didn't start. I wasn't even streaming back then. And people are like, no, you were. No, I wasn't streaming in 2017, and that's not me in 2017. That's me, like, when I was a fucking baby. When I was 18, actually, which is crazy, which is, holy fuck, that's a long-ass time ago. It was 12 years ago. Thir not even 12, 13. Damn, been a rough six years. Yeah, imagine. Wait, first of all, rough. Motherfucker, I look like this now. What do you mean? Like, holy shit. I love that motherfucker's actually out here telling you when you started streaming like you didn't live it. Yeah, I know. I mean, Twitch chat. Puberty hit you disrespectfully late. I hit uh, I hit puberty twice. That's not even uh, that's not even a joke. I hit puberty in college again. Anyway, argument. If you're named Brian, Brian, Brian. Brian. And that's why you can't be racist against a white person. So I'm sorry if you feel offended, but you are white. And me calling you white boy isn't exactly it's a racist. Bit, I mean, it's a, you are addressing me by my skin color. I consider Your skin it a color will never. Oh my God. He's fucking breaking <laughs> my skin color. <laughs> lead to the, you know, what is it? Premature murder of yourself. Like, I don't know. Like. Why do people get so excited at the prospect of someone being like disrespectful to them? by addressing them by their skin color only because like the only real version of that is when they've done it to a black person and that one is actually valid but they get so horny they're like oh it's my opportunity to shine baby i'm about to be a victim this is just like emmett till i'm just for real dude me i'm i'm being i'm getting lynched out here you know what i mean it's like no dude no it, it has never happened and it's not going to happen for you okay it has never happened in the history of society it will not happen to you Okay. And that's not even a bad thing. It's a good thing. Okay. The fact that you think, the fact that you think that this is like racist or this uh, is, is uh, similar to systemic racism, it's great. I mean, it's just a perfect demonstration that you don't understand racism in general. Okay. That's it. That, that's it. That is like, you don't get it. You, a lot of these people just think being racist is just being mean. And that's not the case. This is something that I try to describe all the fucking time. Okay? The N-word is not just a meanie bobini word. Okay? Oh, man. Why are black people so mad about the N-word? The N-word carries a lot of weight. And the weight that it carries is about the history of slavery. Okay? It's about the contemporary remnants of white supremacism, white supremacy, that was a foundational principle in American societal development, okay? That's a fundamental thing that people don't understand, okay? That's the crazy thing. It's just like you never understand it. You refuse to acknowledge it. You never want to even associate with it or try to develop a better perspective on it because it makes you feel good to just think like, oh, no, black people are just like, just sad. They're just emotional. I would actually point out one thing to you. Me as a white man, I'm the only male at this table here. 
There are more white men killed by police officers than women of any race combined. I mean, then why aren't you mad? Why don't you hate police too? Oh no! You posted this on your own YouTube? Bro. If I got fucking roasted and toasted this hard on my show, I would do everything in my power to hide the footage. The CIA could come knocking down my door put a black bag over my head, fly me to an Egyptian black site so they could do torture to get this information out of me, and I'd be like, nah, I'll just die. It's fine. This motherfucker willingly took this and posted it. He was like, he was like, yeah, no, this is fire. I'm getting fucking owned harder than anyone has ever been owned. You would need to... You would need to do crazy psychological torture, and I still probably would not show this image oh my god oh jesus christ dude holy fuck what does he say oh what do you even say to that you can't what do you, brian brian why would you bring up police killing white men as an argument in support of the police why why would you do that then why aren't you mad why don't you hate police too because i re i realize that police are a necessary function of society without police it would be chaos we need police officers <laughs> A necessary, a necessary function for me and all my white boys to get blasted. <laughs> if the police don't do it, somebody's gonna do it, so may as well have the police do it, because then it's legal, you know, that they'll kill the people. It's easy. Not really much to add to this other than it is very fascinating to watch someone be jarred out of their blissful experience Why did of he racelessness. Post this? Being a white person isn't actively on Brian's mind because, you know, he's he's white. It's like the default. Race isn't a factor in his life uh, because he's white. And so when that's brought up, that's 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 racism. That's what racism is to him. And that's why it's very it's just it's silly. It's funny. If a girl's on her phone while you're hanging out with her, do this. Hey, it seems like maybe you got something going on you gotta take care of. All good, but after that, can you put your phone away so we can just hang out? After you say this, a girl is gonna respond in one of two ways. Oh, right, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll completely put it away. Or she might do this. Are you kidding me? I'm texting my mom. It's not even that big a deal. Like you need to relax. Oh, okay, I mean. If that's how you feel, honestly, I don't think this is going to be a good fit, so I wish you the best. This one I don't really care about. Wait, he just, like, left his own car? Just just parachute out of your own car, dude. I love how, man, it, are we becoming more... As a society, I feel like because we're so increasingly isolated and and so devoid of, like... <laughs> Free car. Yeah, exactly, Chatters. Free car. Um, Give the woman your car. L immediately leave. Um, As a society, I feel like we're becoming so increasingly isolated that, like, that, like, people are feeding you, like, a false sense of reality by doing these, like, weird step-by-step -step tutorials. And it, I guess, only works if you're, you know... 15 or even like maybe 20 but you haven't really because of covid like you didn't really develop properly and socialize properly you know what i mean because you were like an ipad baby you were like an ipad kid you know so now you're looking at that and you're thinking oh this is what you're supposed to do this is how real interactions are like real human interactions like is that what's going on the life flow charts they're giving, they giving out don't even work. I mean, yeah. About it all, except for the ending where he gets out of the driver's side door and, and leaves his car. Where are you going, man? That's your car. Did, what, why? <laughs> I mean, you come off like a woman, you look like a woman, and, and, it, and it seems natural that you're a woman. But then you get some giant former, you know, ex-con, armed robber prisoner who's like who's like deadlifting 600 pounds and he's like some
yeah, you look like a woman, you're a trans woman, uh, you're a woman, but like, what about, what about this person I imagined in my mind that I'm fantasizing about, you know, ex-con, she's got, she's got big old dick, you know, and she's got, she's got top surgery though, you know what I'm saying, uh, and also in this hypothetical straw man, what if, what if I were to think like this ex-con came up to me, right, and just started fondling me while I'm working out in my in my gym. Of course, I'm shirtless because I always am, right? And then he's like, "Can I spot you, Alex?" And I say to him, "I'm her. I'm scared, right? I'm scared." So I say, "Yes, yes, ma'am, please." Uh, and then she flops her big old lady dick on my face while she's spotting me bench press 225 pounds. That's two plates. Oh my god. What if I were to hypothetically be uh, <clears throat> tactically really invested in that scenario? What would that, what's going on there? Am I gay now? <laughs> or, or or trans women? Women, I don't fucking know anymore. God damn it. <laughs> Why are they making me so hard? I'm covered in olive oil. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He goes, hey, dude, how you doing? Yeah, man, I'll get to you next. He's like, it's ma'am. I'm going to beat your ass. You know, and he's like sitting there. That's, that's not a woman. It's different. It's it, different. It, 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 it's different. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did he just make this story up, dude? What the fuck is he doing? He's like... <laughs> it's always it's so funny with conservatives because like they saw like one video shot with like a nokia phone the first nokia phone that had like a camera one time uh, uh, of someone maybe like a you know maybe like a like a person that just started doing hrt and stuff having a bad day in like 2007 and they've been circulating that in their fucking group chats and email listings for literally 20 fucking years now and they just constantly think about that moment greatly exaggerated of course okay and only say like that's how trans women are you know what i mean uh, i saw that video is it 240p but <laughs> i'm thinking about that trans woman still to this day you know what i mean it's the same video always i know I immediately know what he's even referencing. It's like the GameStop one, right? It's like, God forbid, dude. God fucking forbid. A trans woman had a bad day one fucking time. You know what I mean? One time, dude. It's over. It's over for you trans ladies. Okay? Obsessed. Like, we know for a fact. Okay? This is factually correct. We know for a fact that Alex Jones has... An understanding, okay, that is vast about trans existence because Alex Jones watches trans porn, okay? Now, this is, of course, he's a chaser. Obviously, a chaser implies, like, you're fetishizing trans people. You're still not seeing trans people as, like, full human beings, right? We all know that, but, like, come on, dog. We know. We know. We know you've seen more trans women than that one lady at fucking GameStop having a bad day, okay? We know. You got caught, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we all saw it, Alex. And then sitting there letting a thug do that, it's like no one buys it. So this is a part of Alex Jones' definition of a woman, or rather uh, what a woman isn't to him. Giant former ex-con armed robber prisoner who can deadlift 600 pounds and is rude to a customer service worker. That Those are his signifiers for what a woman isn't. And for what a woman is, it's uh, Blair White or somebody who looks like Blair White. So what is it specifically about that list of features that makes the person he's talking about not a woman? Is it the ex-con thing? Because, you know, there are women ex-cons. There are women who have committed armed robbery and are in prison for it. Is it the deadlift thing? Because uh, cis women can deadlift over 600 pounds. The it's ma'am thing is referencing a specific incident. It was a really viral video of a trans woman being misgendered in a GameStop and then saying that it's ma'am. Uh yeah. This is it. I mean, he, you know what, nailed it. This is the video. 
Like literally fucking isn't is it not exactly what I just told you by the way? It's so funny because it's like It's so stupid. It's like the one fucking video that everyone points to like yeah man, listen. If trans women were fucking running around constantly fucking screaming at people, okay, you'd probably have more videos. You know what I mean? And yeah, getting misgendered fucking sucks, I assume. Like, clearly she's having a bad fucking day. She's already on edge. It sucks. Also ironic because it's like typical white women behavior is like yelling at a store, but that's different. That's like, you know, if anything, this just, this just reaffirms gender norms. I'm sorry. I'm a trans inclusionary radical misogynist. I mean, she literally, come on. She literally has a Karen cut. Like, it's not that hard, okay? It's not, it's not that hard for me to make this. It's not a leap, okay? Let's continue. Uh, you've probably seen the clip. Should be no surprise that Alex Jones is not being 100% truthful when he is reappropriating this real story that happened into his thing here. Because according to the trans woman in that story, she was repeatedly misgendered, not just one time on accident, but like six times. But I think more importantly here, uh, public freakout videos happen all the time. It's only when trans people are in them that they're used as evidence to sort of legislate away their identities using real laws that are demonic and horrific real laws going into effect in the government. That's not a woman. They're different. Seven million views this video has. Great. Just great. That's not masculine. That's toxic masculinity. <sighs> Buzzword. <laughs> the buzzwords. Uh, what is toxic masculinity? You You're should know me. that. You should know that. I'm at, yes, I'm asking you. <laughs> oh God, these are, they're so uncomfortable. Like, I'm really so I'm sorry to subject you to these. I, I don't want to cut them up too much. Cause it's just, just like, let the clip run. These are the ones that everyone's on here watching millions of views. But man, if you can't feel that discomfort in the room. There is that kind of perception where I guess men can't like, or yes, they could be the provider in the family, but they also can't show emotion or stuff like that. I feel like or they just get so mad or like their emotions are so high where they end up showing it in anger. I feel like that happens a lot and I've seen that firsthand. Okay. What? This one's tough because uh, he, he asked for a definition and unfortunately, no matter what the definition this girl gives, uh, it, there's no winning here because you get a Russell Westbrook what, what gif afterwards even though she identifies two pretty prominent elements of what we would call toxic masculinity which is inability to express emotion <laughs> and as a consequence uh outbursts of anger and violence pretty sounds good to me but in that room there's just there's no winning you know and in this comment section there's no winning either she couldn't rub two brain cells together if she rented them you can oh dude this is my favorite which is like when you go to the comments it's like all right let's take a look at the comments and it's literally just people who don't get it don't get the point they're just basically fucking they're they basically just run on uh their preconceived notions. You're never gonna change their attitude. It's just like you could tell she was proud of herself for remembering the phrase tell toxic that she masculinity. was proud of herself for remembering the phrase toxic masculinity just hearing her speak would turn off any man nothing about her is wife material just a bunch of dudes getting in a room and absolutely fapping about the idea of a woman being a stupid idiot keep in mind the podcaster's rebuttal to what she was saying was a video of russell westbrook saying what he says what and that was his sort of counter argument critique of her definition of toxic masculinity very high level thinking from the men in the room Thank you. This guy has been sending me good night, Queen, every single night since May. Anything a guy does for you, he's doing for other girls. And thank you to this man for proving me right. Look at this. 
Look at this. Started in May. Started in May. So I have bad news for you ladies. The account that's sending you goodnight messages is not a real account. In early May, I built an Instagram bot that would send these messages to a group of popular creators to measure the impact of artificially boosting their egos. I used AI to create... Bro, okay, listen. Keep this dude away from blueprints to the school, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Keep this dude away from blueprints of the school that he went to. He should not be allowed in a Walmart where he can purchase a weapon legally, and he should never be allowed to be in the vicinity of blueprints to a school. I would go so far as to probably, uh, by court order, force him to never use knives. You know what I mean? Like, I would not allow him to have, like, any kind of weapon that you can, even a blunt object. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Like, I guess, like, the one positive is that at least he's not murdering, like, he's not serially killing women instead. That is crazy, dude. That's fucking insane. Like, what, what the fuck? Who does that? He literally did the thing. He was like, well, we can't find something. So let's just make a, a, a weirdo behavior bot. I'm going to run this again, dude. You, you have to fucking, you have to see this. If you missed it, you have to see it, especially at the top of the hour when there's a three-minute ad break, okay? If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Like, you don't want to miss this. You know, you want an uninterrupted broadcast experience. All you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime, right? Or by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky, obviously. Um... Here's the three-minute ad break now. An anonymous gifter. Thank you for the 10 to give the subs. Allowing 10 people who no longer want to see the ads. Uh, I ran the ad break already. Get fucked. Okay, let's the watch. Man in the room. Thank you. This guy has been sending me good night, queen, every single night since May. <laughs> Anything a guy does for you, he's doing for other girls. And thank you to this man for proving me right. Look at this. Look at this. Started in May. Started in May. So I have bad news for you, ladies. The account that's sending you good night messages. Dude, he's like, ha, ladies, uh, you think getting dick pics constantly is a problem? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I've been sending my dick with a bot to thousands of women in their Instagram DMs every day. Guess what? You got fucking owned. Also, some of you told me my dick looked weird, and I don't like that. So I felt a little owned in that process. But that says a lot about society, that women are fucking bitches, dog. That's right. How fucked is that? And then dudes in the chat are like, dudes in the fucking comment section are like, yeah, King, you fucking murdered these whores. I'm so angry. Oh, why won't anybody fuck me? Ah! Fuck! <clears throat> Jarvis made a video about this creep already. Mark Z I love that. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. This guy needs his own deep dive. I swear to God. Account. In early May, I built an Instagram bot that would send these messages to a group of popular creators to measure the impact of artificially boosting their egos. I used AI to create an uncomfortable sexual harassment bot to... See if the girls would like it. <laughs> My plan was to start in May and send good night to single large popular creators. Bro, that's awesome. Like, he literally automated harassment, dude. He made an auto harass bot. That's so weird. At no point, like, do you have zero friends? You don't have one fucking guy in your corner, in your vicinity. You don't have, like, a loved one, a family member who was like, hey, Hank, don't do this. Or, oh, fuck, Hank, you did this. Best not to admit it on camera. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of weird. Like, it's probably not something you should do. Like, people are going to look at you and go, hey, dog, you're kind of a fucking gross nerd.
leaders and then stop the messaging around December 23rd, which is right in the midst of the holiday season and the most loneliest time for a single person. And I was going to demonstrate how much random people have influence over a pop. Dalton710, thank you for the five get the subs. Popular creator whose entire self worth is based upon the validation and appraisal of others. Obviously, telling someone good night is not in and of itself sexual harassment, but doing it every night uh, with no response, you're kind of like you're doing stalker activities, which is often sometimes followed with uh, with you know photos you don't want, more detailed messages you don't want. Not great stuff. If I don't get a good night queen, it like hurts my feelings. And I love this. And my hypothesis was correct. These women said they missed the good night messages. They were attached to it. Follow for more big brain social hacks. I love the scientific method. It starts off sounding like, oh, maybe it's an experiment about social media and how it affects users of it and creators. But then, you know, it's just women. Women is the people he was DMing and women's egos was the variable in question. Super weird, man. Super weird thing to do. And very weird that I got a million likes, one million likes. Deeply depraved behavior. Is cheating morally correct? Yes. What's really fun about this is I don't even have to watch the end to the end of it because uh, jail. He's in jail. He's in prison. Beautiful. Huh. We love it. We love it so much. Seven more days. Seven more days until my top G gets out of jail, for the record. I've been counting the days. My top G will be out of prison in seven days unless they extend it one more time. The unjustifiable Romanian courts. Why would a man who's earning $200,000 plus... I don't have to watch this guy's either because he's dead. <laughs> Okay, I, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. We'll end it on this one. Here we go. Why would a man who's earning two hundred thousand dollars plus, who can have any woman, want you? I would be coming in with also my own six-figure salary. Don't give a shit about your money. We don't care about your money or your careers. Let me tell you, ladies, why this doesn't matter. Because we don't have access to it anyway, and you ain't gonna be spending it on us. So why, your money doesn't. Why did you say that? Wait, why not? What the fuck? What? What a fucking what? Bro, who hurt you, man? I mean, other than heart disease. But, like, who hurt you? Why? Why would you say that? It's such a weird thing. This is kind of like one of the earlier videos we looked at where preferences for male dating are these strictly defined things. And it's impossible for a man to be interested in dating someone that earns around what he earns. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. Doesn't make a lot of sense. It does to Kevin. And for Kevin, you know, he probably made that or more. And he wasn't into having a woman that was making that much. But, you know, that doesn't mean everybody is. Who in general funds the relationship? I would say men in general. Right. Fund. What's the most you've ever spent on your man that's not a birthday, Christmas, or anniversary type? You're just on a Tuesday. I spent a Tumi bag that I bought for and it was like about $600. $600. That ain't shit. That's what? Six hundred. That's an insane. What? That's crazy. What the fuck, bro? No, he was gonna say that no matter what she said. Okay, he was going to say that no matter what she said. She could have said six thousand dollars, and it would have been like, yeah, no, that ain't shit. I spend that in my sleep. No, that's a lot of fucking money for a random goddamn fucking a, 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 a bag. Has chat ever seen Kevin Samuels? Yes. The dollars at dinner. So I'm sorry, your six figure job and everything else don't mean shit. To I don't even think she's talking to him. Like maybe, maybe it don't mean shit to you, but like, what the fuck? I bought my man a house on Tuesday worth $3 million. That ain't shit. Yeah, literally. He was going to say that no matter what. So I forgot to add commentary to the end of this clip here, but I mean, you get the gist. It's just a weird guy flexing, uh, being insecure, flexing on some random lady that he makes a bunch of money. And that's very, okay, you get it very weird. All of these videos have the same thing in common, which is that they are just a new form of very old patriarchal ideas. Women want to do something? Uh, they shouldn't because I don't want them to. Women want to make money and have financial autonomy? They shouldn't do that because that's not what men want because we are all the same and you should just follow suit for that reason. Women who have preferences. This whole metaphorical questioning is that he makes six figures and now her six figures is less than his six figures. Yeah, literally. Like... It's so stupid. For dating are opportunistic, but women who are independent and make a life for their own are cold-hearted, cat-loving uh, bitches. So it's a weird, it's a weird thing. It's a weird place to be. 
Not a great place. I don't like it. I would like to get out and you guys can come with me because the video's over now. So yeah, I mean, it's it's literally just about control. Yeah, as, as a chatter correctly pointed out, he just wants like women that he can control. I want to see civilization, holds or other things we've seen. We've seen relationships. You think that that's oppression? Because you no. use the word oppressed. I said women have been oppressed since the beginning of time. How? And it's natural. Oh gosh. Okay. How? Are you really? How? You're, yeah, go ahead. How? Wait, come on, dog. Really? Like, I mean, if you're talking about today, there's even ways that you can fucking bring that up. But like, that's crazy. What do you mean? How? Like, what, what the fuck? Like women literally were just like basically property until not that fucking long ago. What do you mean? How? Women have been able to enter the workplace and have like the same kind of financial dominance that you fucking flex with your goddamn Gordon Gecko ass suit. Like, Basically, two and a half, three generations ago. The fuck do you mean? Oh, you're, you're the asking one saying me this is how? true. Yes. No, here's maybe a better question. How? No, I'm, no, no, because I'm not going. If okay, because you, you don't know how. Because you don't know. No, if I'm if not you, going if you, to explain in, to in myself. Normal, who listen, are, in normal conversation where people aren't sitting around and patronizing you because you're loud and obnoxious. Oh, I can't. You're loud and obnoxious. I, I can't watch this. This will make me go crazy. I will lose brain cells. I'm not Zuckerberg. watching this. I'm skipping it.